Whatever's in there, it's been safely hidden for 2,000 years. This isn't a tomb, it's a prison. I think what you will see is the story of, um, uh, you know, a 5,000 year old um, Egyptian princess who um, made a bargain with essentially with the devil and it was thwarted and she's now come to modern day to complete that bargain and Tom's character Nick finds himself right in the middle of that problem um, because he is going to be the conduit by which she will complete her bargain. The hieroglyph said she was named Amunet, chosen to be Egypt's next queen. But her thirst for power led her down a darker path, one that had to be stopped. The minute we decided to make her a woman, it opened up huge story possibilities, just brand new doors that suddenly felt fresh. And it raised really interesting and timeless questions. And it gave her a backstory that I hadn't seen before. And it's very hard in any movie to come up with villains who have an interesting and unique backstory. Um, and when, but it felt so immediately right. It was just that Lego click of like, that's it. That's what it's got to be. And um, at first people were like, really? It's never been done. I don't know. And I was like, yes, it's never been done. <laughs> that's the point. And then people got on board very quickly. And the first person to recognize it immediately was Tom. She's a being of unimaginable powers. Now she's using you <laughs> to regain them. There was something very fun about watching Tom, the polarity of these two women moving around Tom um, that I loved and I think he loved and um, makes his character more interesting, makes the two of them more interesting. It just makes the whole situation more unique uh, because ultimately Nick is torn between these two women. Um, and these two women represents two different sides of him, you know, and uh, and the question is, where will he end up? Go, go, go. In order to get an audience to love a character like that, you got to be a movie star. It's really that simple <laughs> um, because, you know, Tom's character over the course of this movie pretty much makes every wrong choice and yet he's really likable and you have to convey that quality in who you are it's not really something you can act it's just something that you are um i love that about tom as an audience member i've loved his movies for that for a long time because he he plays the anti-hero or not even the anti-hero he plays very flawed characters in a very entertaining and relatable way you are alive because you were chosen. Chosen? By what? Evil. The ultimate evil. They are so respectful of each other. I mean, they're fans of each other's work. So, first and foremost, they were just excited to be on set together and get the opportunity to be in a scene with each other, you know, and be in several scenes with each other. And, you know, when you have two actors who are Tom Cruise and Russell Crowe, who are, you know, arguably two of the best actors of all time, um, often your job is to stand back and let them do their do do what they do. She will not stop until she has remade our world into her own. It was Sophia or nobody, and um, a, a, because in in so many ways. To, to bring a physical credibility and an emotional credibility to the part, you know, you, you don't get that right and you don't have a movie, you know? You could have Tom Cruise in it, but if the mummy didn't work, you do not have a movie. And um, so I met with Sophia and uh, it was very interesting because she was very hesitant at first. She said, well, I don't know, I don't know if, you know, I just came off a movie where I did like six hours of makeup and I don't know if I want to go through that again. And I said, I understand, but here's the thing. You have to do it. Like, you have to do this movie. I literally can't make this movie without you. And before the meeting, I had uh, done a lot of drawings of her rendered as the mummy. And she thought I was kidding when I was like, no, you don't understand. There's nobody else for me. And I pulled these images of her out and she went, I saw her face kind of go, whoa. Like, she didn't expect it. And... Um, 
and then she understood that I was very serious about protecting her character and about about how uh, I think original and different it was going to feel with her. What the hell?